Hello everybody. Um, it was not that easy to decide what we're gonna look at today, but I said okay, let's look at the shirts that I had on my Nations League set. And let's look at the shirt where I have a nice story on. My first Spain shirt. The Spain 2006-2007 away jersey. With customization number 27. Who is number 27? It's me. Absolute jersey foul. I have to say, but I was young and stupid. So why do I have this Spain jersey? Well, when the World Cup in Germany rolled around, me and my friend said, yeah, this is our chance. This is the one chance that we see a World Cup game. And it was kind of a tedious process getting tickets. Uh, we sat together, I remember at one point, deciding, okay, um, these are the games that we want to have. And I remember my friend even suggesting we should uh, definitely apply for Saudi Arabia against Tunisia in Munich. And I said, nah, no way. On the same day, there's Spain against Ukraine, which is the second or third best matchup. And then we were also fighting. I kind of said, I know everyone wants to see Argentina against the Netherlands, but it'll kill me if we don't try to get to that one. Of course, it was an absolute dull, boring game. But that's how you go. So we were, you know, trying to get tickets. I remember at one point in the second, first phase, we didn't get anything. In second phase, they had this um, buy and sell mechanism where there's were tickets showing up. And at one point, I had Iran tickets up until the quarterfinal, but only for one person. And Iran, yes, you would have seen quarterfinals. I would have seen because it would have come with the group winner. So I would have seen Portugal against the Netherlands, and I would have seen Portugal against England. But it was not the greatest thing. Day later, I see three tickets for all the group stage games for Spain. That's what we got. So we needed Spain jerseys. And I look at the 2006 jersey for Spain, the home jersey I didn't like, but the away jersey were one of the nicer ones of this entire World Cup. And if you look at it, I still like it a lot. I know it's this weird Adidas template, uh, but I like how they put the Spanish flag in here. You have the red here, you have the yellow here, and then you have red on the bottom so actually that looked really nice to me um i'm not so fond about these yellow thingies here and that um, strapping here is all red i think if this is red yellow red that would have been my favorite like on the ball here that would have been my favorite but i was also totally in awe of the nice crest and this was the last time they had it in this way without the shield really absolute gorgeous crest maybe a little bit small but then I also said well you have the crest here you have the logo here this side looks empty so you probably should get some numbers and there was not really a Spanish player <laughs> back then that I really knew I mean this was the new Aragonese team where Raul barely made it into the squad but I Honestly, I didn't know that many Spanish players, at, at least some that I, I really wanted to have. I said, well, let's put our own name on there. And I could convince my friend to, to get his name. He got a number 16. I have a number 27. Number 27 is sort of my lucky number. If you look at it, it's already a little bit uh, coming off here. But I saw today a video with some ironing. This can be fixed if you do it smart. Uh, and also because of the back, you know, you have this weird U-shape here. It needed to have something there. And I actually like the numbering style, the lettering style back then. So yeah, I'm not very happy that I have my name on there. However, that was a nice story. Uh, the first game, of course, was the 4-0 annihilation of the Ukraine, which I didn't expect seeing. Um, this was the first time that we saw that Spain is going to be a great team. And I actually... It felt a little bit crazy, but I said, well, I think they could be talented. At the quarterfinals, they will play against Brazil if everything goes. And I think they can beat Brazil. They are talented enough for some reason, and I picked them to be world champions four years ahead of time. But they played like world champions. Uh, that was the best game. Then the game against Tunisia, they got an early goal, uh, gave up an early goal. But really continued playing on well. Raul came on, turned, turned, turned around. It was a great game. Fortunately, Spain was qualified at that time. And the last game was against Saudi Arabia, who uh, had already uh, were already out, it was kind of a dull game in Kaiserslautern. However, 
walking up the to the famous Betzenberg. There were of course a lot of Spanish fans. There were also a lot of Arabian fans, and I remember some German fans dressing up as Arabs, saying trading oil for beer. But the one thing was, we were walking up there. It was me, uh, me with two friends and my brother, and suddenly I hear something behind me, and then they are starting to think, Roland, Red España, Roland. Red España, Roland, King of Spain, for some reason they thought this is funny. I thought it was funny, uh, and you know, being all blonde and so on, and very Spanish, of course, um, they needed to take pictures with us. I mean, how, how often do you see blonde guys with, or uh, blondish, reddish guys with Spain jerseys? Uh, I had actually quite some nice time there. Game was dull, but that is still one of my favorite moments from that World Cup. They never wore this jersey there. I think the only time they wore it, they actually lost in it. But uh, still, it's one of my favorite jerseys. I like to wear it. I hope to I can repair it soon to have it a little bit better. But yeah, nice memories. It was a nice workup. I was wearing it to all three games this one and uh, looked great. I have a nice picture of me and my brother. He in the 98 Spain home jersey, me with this one, uh, with Spanish flag and uh, looks really nice. Uh, maybe. A, if you go on my blog, I think I've even posted it there. And uh, there's the story also there. Well, let me know what you think about this jersey. To me, it's a classic in a way. Uh, I have good memories with it. And I didn't expect to have a Spain jersey. So this was my first Spain jersey. Also, I see now the I liked on this template this very smooth pinstriping. Well, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and this jersey. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I'll see you look at another shirt tomorrow in the evening. Up until then, bye.